Hey everybody, I'm sorry if there's music playing in the background, but um, this new video software I'm using is, uh, it won't let me take the music out, it's really weird. Um, it's called EasyVid, so if you guys have any tips for that, that would be awesome. But um, I'll just get to this video because I don't want to take too long. Um, the fish shown here is called a Crenicicla Regani, and um, I really want to create a nice looking tank, or a nice, just a nice tank in general for a fish like this. Um, it's a little fish, it's only 4 inches long, it's part of the Pike Cichlid family. Um, it's got all the like cool temperament that a pike cichlid would have, but in a smaller body, obviously. Um, so I'll start out with these pictures I found on the internet here of their natural habitat. The first one is of a pike hanging out near the bottom of the lake, um, and there's like it's sandy down there. The second one is of a pike hiding in a like fallen logs, like they're horizontal and they're lifted off the ground a little bit to create a like, cool shelter. I'm guessing. In the third picture, you can see that the pike cichlid is um, in like a grassy field of plants. So what these pictures tell me is that the pikes like sandy bottoms, maybe for it, because it's easier for them to find crustacean and stuff, and that they like to hang out near the bottom of the tank. So I got to take that into mind. And then in the second picture, those logs kind of make me think of maybe they like or they would rather hide in a shelter with of a, like a hollowed log or something. And then in the last picture, I'm guessing maybe they hunt out in the grassy area, so I'd also have to take that into consideration. <sighs> so the plan for my tank, obviously, would have to be the sandy bottom. I mean, uh, um, every once in a while, I might throw some ghost shrimp or live food in the tank, you know, for them to eat. Um, it'd be easier for them to find it in this, the sand, I'm guessing. And uh, let's see, the picture, the second picture would be the hardscape. Uh, I would have a few logs, uh, maybe like hollowed out logs obviously, surrounding the tank. If I have like a breeding pair, I'm sure that a few logs are going to be good um, in case the male gets too aggressive or the female. And just a few rocks for decoration and more natural looking I guess. And then in the background of the tank I would have um, some type of background plant. I want to do dwarf Amazon swords. not. Dwarf chain swords or pygmy swords or whatever, but they're actually Amazon swords. They're just a lot smaller than the normal ones. Um, I think those will look real cool because sword plants with small fish in general look really cool in my opinion. And then um, near the sides and like kind of some of the middle area of the tank, I would have pearl weed. I know it's not really native to Amazon, I don't think, but um, it, it carpets really well with the water I have. Um, so I don't know. I wouldn't carpet it like really thick to start out with I'd let it fill in um, but I would start out like with it like that um, yeah that would that would probably be it for my setup so if you guys have any tips on what I could do to make this uh, tank better that would be awesome because I really want to create a cool habitat for a uh, Crenicicla Regani so thank you for watching and I'm sorry about if the music in this video and bye